Hello my fellow friends and designers, welcome back to another episode. On today's video I'll be talking about turning your current website into an actual Android application without writing any line of code. So let's do a jump in and see how it goes. It's uh, a GitHub repository and then you're gonna click, you wanna click the download uh, button like so. Since I already done that, I'm gonna open it up and then what you're gonna see is uh, Android Studio okay which is the project file app icons and the apk itself which you can then uh, download to your android and then uh, install it i'll be showing you how you can do that but for now let's stick around with android studio so in case you haven't uh, installed android studio you should definitely do that let's open up an existing android studio like so uh, and then i'm gonna go to the file itself android studio like so and then it will show all the files and folders that we'll be using to change the current application to your own so what i'll be doing now is just go to another website okay which is uh the flex academy made by ron sego okay and since he has uh sort of like a shop with all sorts of uh, courses and stuff like that that will help you build a website um, I thought it would be a good idea to use it as an example so I'll be paste, copy and paste uh, the website itself okay this is by the way how it looks in a mobile, for, in a mobile version and that's how it's gonna look uh, on your Android device so what you're gonna do now is go to manifest folder Android manifest XML and then you're gonna see uh, Android label and Android label is basically the name of the application itself and I'll be changing it from Amos Jerby okay which is my name to let's say uh, flux okay pretty straightforward then we're gonna go to the Java folder and then main activity to uh, the link that I copied earlier okay and this is gonna be uh, the Flux Academy okay next up I'll be changing uh, the values okay which are basically uh, how the application itself is gonna show some color accents uh, in this case it's purple white and uh, azure okay and if you want to change it you can double click it and then click custom and then change it to whatever you want okay cool uh, after you've done all the changes that you want we want to uh, change the app icon which is really important i'm gonna go to file new and then image asset okay and after that i'm gonna uh, change the layer name to uh, foreground 2 use an image okay I already had uh, I, I already have an icon for that so I'm gonna go to app icons flux like so and then I'm gonna scale it down a bit so it won't go overboard okay I can make it a little a bit smaller and then I'm just gonna change the uh, background layer to white okay like so cool and I'm gonna change it to underscore two background like so cool I'm gonna click next and then finish all right and now what we want to do is actually take this entire project let's save it uh, and take this entire project and make it an APK so what we're gonna do is go to build bundles like so build APKs okay you know what no we want to sign it off so we can actually uh, publish it to the Play Store uh, on Google so I'm gonna generate a signed bundle APK okay so I'm gonna click APK like so next I'm gonna call it uh, I'm just gonna create a new uh, a, a new folder for which uh, the key is gonna be stored so I'll take the desktop like so okay and now we're gonna require uh, six characters for you to for you to take uh, a password, okay? 
So I'm going to do that, like so. And then uh, flux. Let's just copy paste it on everything. OK. Click OK. Then uh, remember passwords, like so. And then next. And then tap the uh, release and then V2. Let's click finish. And now there is going to be a prompt that's going to show you where the application itself is located. Okay, it's going to take a while. All right, so we have this prompt. Let's click it and then locate. So, and then drag it out to my Android uh, device, like so. Okay, and now I'm going to mirror my uh, Android Studio, my Android to this computer so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, and I'm going to go to uh, my Explorer, like so, test. As you can see, we have already the uh, app icon for the, uh, for the application itself. I'm going to install it. And I'm going to install anyway because uh, it, it gives me this prompt because I haven't published it to the Play Store. Once I do that, you won't have this uh, prompt. So I'm going to install anyway, like so. I'm going to click done, don't send, done, like so. And as you can see, uh, I already have uh, the application itself. For some reason, it doesn't show uh, the icon of the app, but it should be uh, the F, like so. And now what we're going to get is the actual web view of the entire uh, website. All right, so let's wrap it up. All we did was changing a URL, an icon, the name of the app, and a few values for the application itself to look a bit different. But other than that, it's all yours. You did your own application without writing a single line of code, just changing a few values. I hope this has been valuable to you. Please stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.